Welcome to your first lecture on electrical machines. Today we will be looking at the mechanism of magnetic field production by a current carrying wire that is wrapped around a core. So imagine I have a core like this and I wrap n turns of a wire around it. So these are n turns wrapped around a core and I excite this wire with a current I. Then we know from Ampere's law that the contour integral of H is equal to I net. So I net is the total current. H is the magnetic field intensity. And DL is differential length along the path of this integration. Since we have a magnetic core here, we assume that all of the magnetic field produced remains inside this magnetic material and thus the path of length along which I have to carry out this integration is this length around the core which is called LC, the mean path of integration. Now you can see from this diagram that this current I crosses the mean path length n times. The total net current would be n times I which would equal to H times the mean path length LC. And from here I can find the value of the magnetic field intensity as Ni divided by Lc. Let's call this equation number 1. And in this equation, you can see that H, or the magnetic field intensity, is the effort of current in establishing A magnetic field. So H gives the relation in terms of the current, the number of turns and the mean path length and thus it can be considered as an effort of the current in establishing the magnetic field. But this magnetic material also plays a role in the relative ease with which a magnetic field can be produced. So the magnetic field intensity H is related to the magnetic flux density B with this relationship B is equal to mu H where B is the magnetic flux density and mu is called the permeability permeability of material so mu denotes the relative ease with which a magnetic field magnetic field can be established. 
the permeability of free space mu naught is given by the expression 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 Henry per meter and the permeability of any given core is expressed in terms of the permeability of free space by this quantity mu r which is called the relative relative permeability and the relative permeability of a class of materials called ferromagnetic we will look into this term in detail in the later lectures but ferromagnetic materials have a mu r in the range of 2000 to 6000 which means that ferromagnetic materials for a given current produce 2000 to 6000 times more magnetic flux compared to air or free space so let's call this equation 2 so if i plug in the value of h from the previous expression i know from here that h is n i over l c so this would be mu times n i over lc so this is giving the magnetic flux density in terms of the current in the wire as well as the permeability of the material however we would like to express b in terms of the magnetic flux which is flowing through this core and magnetic flux is given as the surface area integral of b now if the magnetic field density vector is perpendicular to the differential area da and its value is constant over this area then this expression can simply be written as b dot a let's call this equation 4 and this one equation 3 and i can substitute the value of magnetic flux density in equation 4 and i would get the flux is equal to mu times n i a over l c so this is a very interesting equation so this can be thought of as a magnetic circuit in which n i is the excitation which is leading to a magnetic flux that flows through the magnetic material so in the next lecture we would see how we can create a magnetic circuit an equivalent magnetic circuit from this equation thank you very much and see you in the next lecture